we owe you $30 trillion. $30 trillion. You don't say. I've got a perfect solution. We're going to make one-ounce platinum coins worth, let's say, a trillion. That'd be perfect. Hang on one sec. One trillion, two trillion, three trillion, four trillion, five trillion, six trillion, seven trillion, eight trillion, nine trillion. Oh, wait, I got this nice one ounce coin here. Let's go right here. Wait, oh, it says a trillion on it. There's 10 trillion. One second. Now, these are 10 ounce bars. So these are worth 10 trillion each, according to us here at the Treasury. So one second here. That's 20 trillion and 30 trillion. And would you look at that? I got another 10 ounce platinum bar here left over. We're just going to put that on our balance sheet. So we got an extra 10 trillion to pay all of our employees. Boom. Done. Accomplished. Okay. In all seriousness, as crazy as that sounds, it's actually a reality here in the United States right now. I've spent quite a few hours actually going through the details of this because it's so hard to unpack it. So if you want to bear with me in this video, we are going to go over all the real details of this possible trillion dollar coin. And by the way, it could be much more than a trillion and it could be multiples. There is no ceiling to this specific law, which is pretty wild. If this information helps you, would really, really appreciate it if you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Helps the video get out there to more people and it's kind of crazy to talk about uh, subjects like this because the more I read about it, it's like I can't believe that we have a system in place where the people in power are actually using loopholes like children. Like, literally like children trying to get out of something they did wrong. That's how ridiculous this is. And once we go over the details, you're going to realize that yourself. Again, would really appreciate it if you smash the like so this gets out there with more, to more people. And if you want to share it on social media, would really, really appreciate you getting this video out there because more people need to know about this because it is literally insane, for lack of a better word. Okay, so enough with the jokes, enough with the jokes. They're serious, but enough with the jokes. So... Just to put it into perspective here, a one ounce platinum coin issued by our uh, treasury is basically worth $100 according to the denomination on the um, coin itself of the one ounce coin. To put this whole trillion dollar idea into perspective here, if they actually were acting rationally, one ounce would be worth $100. That's what they've issued on their coins. The $50 would be a half ounce, 25, like it goes down in that line and it should be adding up to one ounce being worth $100. So if this was actually going to be legitimate and the idea of this being made out of platinum kind of delegitimizes all of the platinum issues that they've done in the past, pretty much any coin issued by our treasury is now being kind of uh, made a mockery of in a way. Because now that just basically tells you, ah, it says $100 on it, but we can make them out of a trillion. Just because we said so. We could do it. We could do a little penny-sized one. We could do a dime-sized one, a nickel-sized one. Maybe we'll make it out of five, ten ounces. But we're going to put a trillion on it. So, so you know, they're, to divide, if they were going to do this in the same way that they did the $100 coin, to divide $100, a trillion by $100 would be 10 billion troy ounces. 10 billion troy ounces they would need to make this trillion dollar coin if they were actually going by their own guidelines for a one ounce coin. That would mean you need a full billion, a billion, here's three, but you would need a billion of these to make a trillion dollar coin and that's to their hundred dollar specification per ounce, not to the actual real value of platinum, roughly a thousand an ounce. That's to their specifications. You would need a full billion of these 10 troy ounce bars. Yeah, that's real. Okay. So let's go a little bit more into detail here. This provision that was put through, I believe, in 1996 or 1997 by Michael Castle had nothing to do with their ability to make a trillion dollar platinum coin. So just to, to have proof of that, I'm looking at an article over here on my left and this article basically interviewed Michael Castle, who made that bill. And we're going to go over the exact bill, the exact details. And I'm going to show the screen over here in a sec. 
But I just wanted to specifically bring this quote up. Uh, they asked, you know, was this created for the trillion dollar purpose here? He said, this is quote unquote, Michael Castle says, that was never the intent of anything that I drafted or that anyone who worked with me drafted. It seems to me that whatever is being processed here is a stretch beyond anything we were trying to do. He said, audibly astonished. I don't know if it could be more clear than that, but that's what he said. So, again, I have all this information here on the left. It's quite a bit to take in. So, if you have the time, would really appreciate you watching this video to the end because I want you to tell your friends about this. I want this video to be shared. I want it to get out there so people know just how wild this is. And I've done a little bit of deeper research into Janet Yellen and her being the Secretary of the Treasury right now and her prior role in the Fed itself. So, someone who used to be the Fed chair got kicked out of the Fed chair position recently, then goes into the Treasury Department as the Secretary of Treasury under this new uh, president. And then this is the individual saying we should tax unrealized gains. This is the individual saying that we can do this trillion dollar coin. Very interesting. Very interesting. I guess right now should be a disclaimer to say that, that uh, well, a lot of this, I mean, this is literally off the website. So I guess it is fact. But uh, disclaimer, this is my opinion. We'll say that just for the disclaimer. Um, let's go into detail. I have some notes in front of me so I don't miss any of the points here. Um, this is one of those things where it's, there's so much information that I have to actually have a little bit of notes. I never like having notes. I like doing my videos totally uh, off the top of my head. But we will make the exception for this absolutely insane idea of making a trillion dollar coin. Uh, section 31 of U.S. Code 5112, the law doesn't specify the value that is supposed to be on commemorative coins. So the law was basically supposed to be for those, you know, cute state quarters, things like that, that were going to be like $10, $15, small denominations to get money for the government uh, in a very realistic way that wasn't actually uh, to take advantage of their position. I have the actual uh, U.S. code on here on the left that we're going to pull up here in a second. I just want to go over these notes here the way this would work is they would take they would mint a trillion dollar platinum coin they would take this coin and give it to jerome powell at the fed and then they would inject a trillion into the economy they get away from the debt ceiling problem now what is the debt ceiling problem that's a very fun one so in 1917 the debt ceiling was established and ironically enough this was to be one billion the debt ceiling was originally set at one billion. You heard that correct. You know why they said it at a billion? Because they just said, ah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, a billion. They're never going to spend more than a billion. How could they spend more than a billion in 1917? Oh, yeah, by the way, this is back when we had a gold standard and our money was back to something. But back then, they said, yeah, there's all of our money's back to gold and silver. How could they spend more than a billion? Psh, no way. They couldn't do that. Um, in 1939, the, the war, World War II, made us restructure that debt ceiling. So 1917, set it at a billion. 1939, they had to restructure it. Since then, they have gone through this debt ceiling crisis 80 separate times. Every single time they find a solution, every time they shut down for a little bit, realize that if they continue being shut down, they're not going to be paid over there as politicians, and then they reopen it, and it keeps going in this direction. And now we're back at that point. But now the debt ceiling is $28.5 trillion. 28.5 trillion from 1 billion. Yep. And we're the reserve currency of the world. Very trustworthy. Very trustworthy indeed. It's it, it, it gets you riled up. It really does. But I want to keep going over the details here. So let's actually go to this law and I can show you the details of what I'm talking about. I'm going to do this fancy change here. Let's see if I get this right. Boom. All right. So here is the actual law. So since fiscal year 1996, the Mint operated under the United States Mint Public Enterprise Fund. Oh, let's go a little further down here. The concept of striking a trillion dollar coin that would generate one trillion dollars in, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm a college dropout. We're just going to say, read that. <laughs> which would be off budget or numismatic profit, which would be on budget uh, and transferred to the treasury is based on the authority granted by section 31 U.S. 
Section 31, United States Code 5112. In 5112, Section K, it originally enacted public law in 1996. The secretary may mint and issue bullion and proof. Now, here's a problem here. This actually is something they had to change in year 2000, which we're going to go over right here. The secretary may mint and issue bullion and proof platinum coins in accordance with such specifications uh, specifications, design, variety, quantities, denominations, and inscriptions as the secretary in the treasuries in the se- as the secretary in the secretary's discretion may prescribe from time to time. Now, here was the problem because actually, when you go through the details, which I have up here, uh, we're going to go over that as well. Where we actually look at the law, they had specifications of where the gold had to come from for the gold coins. It had to come from the United States, and it had to be within a month. There's all these different things that made them uh, have a problem with actually having to make it out of that metal and the limitations of where you got that metal from. So this had to be taken out, obviously, because that means this law could be proven to be including all those other metals, which wouldn't allow them to do this crazy, crazy measure here. So what they did is in 2000, in year 2000, the word bullion, because obviously this has to be replaced, the word bullion was replaced with platinum bullion coins. So this changed to the secretary may mint platinum bullion coins. They took out the proof. They took out the bullion. They took all that out and just replaced it with platinum bullion coins. Yep. Now you have a situation where the secretary, who's now Janet Yellen, has full control over this ability to make a platinum coin to any denomination she deems fit. Yep. That's that's real. Let's go over the actual code here. So here's the logical type things of the code. Bear with me. I'm just a simple uh, squirrel. I try my best to, to act like I know what I'm talking about around here. So let me go down here. But the best way I can do that is by showing the actual code itself. So maybe I do know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Again, this is just disclaimer. All my opinion. Just all my opinion. Could be true. Could be false. Just my opinion. I'll let you decide for yourself in the comments down below on what you think about all of this. See, I'm, I'm acting like a politician these days. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. View at your own discretion. Okay. So a $25 gold coin, like let's look right here, a $50 gold coin that is 32.7 millimeters in diameter uh, is, and weighs 33.931 grams and contains one troy ounce of fine gold. A $25 gold coin that is 27.0 millimeters in diameter weighs 16.99966 grams contained. Anyway, what the reason for this is it shows you how specific they were supposed to be when this law was originally enacted. All, there's very specific situations here. Now, this all changed due to this 1997 coin situation, or 1996-1997, I believe it was either one of those years. But let's go down a little bit more here. Here is the fun line right here, Series K. So if you look it up, it is Section 31, U.S. Code 5112, but specifically K. This one little part right here changes the whole game for what they can do. The secretary may mint, the secretary being Janet Yellen, may mint and issue platinum bullion coins and proof platinum coins, so that's the change. They made it right there in year 2000. Platinum bullion coins and proof platinum coins in accordance with such spe- specifications, designs, varieties, quantities, denominations, and inscriptions as the secretary in the secretary's discretion may prescribe from time to time. So the original version made by Mike Castle uh, had nothing to do with the ability to make a trillion dollar coin and everything to do with things like this, which was right after that, the redesign issuance of quarter dollar commemoration of each of the 50 states. It was meant to be cute commemorative coins to get a little bit of cash flow for the government. That was pretty much what it was. It was not meant to be anything else like a trillion dollar coin. Or keep in mind, they're saying a trillion, but they could do 10, 20, they could do whatever amount of trillions that they want. So what does that make us look like as a country to everybody else? You know, how, how is all these other countries feeling when the, the reserve uh, currency of the entire world is just like, yeah, 
let's just mint a coin out of platinum that's not really the right amount of platinum according to the other platinum coins we've made. How do you feel if you bought one ounce platinum coins at a, and you and you see the hundred dollar denomination on them and then you go, wait a minute, so does it not mean anything that it says a hundred dollars on this platinum coin? They can just make out of thin air any any number they want. I mean, a hundred is obviously way too low for a one ounce platinum coin, but at least they put something realistic. Or not, I mean, not real, not actually realistic, but you get what I mean. Because a trillion is just like, is this a comic book? Like, that doesn't, I don't even know if that, I don't even know what to say about it. It's, it's, it's laughable. I tried to make it a joke in the beginning, and I tried to put in a couple jokes to calm me down and calm you down as a viewer. But it's, it's every bit as scary as it sounds. Every bit as scary. Because at the end of the day... Janet Yellen, who is the ex-Fed uh, chairman, or chairwoman, rather, uh, we go to her. She is a member of the Democratic Party and served as the 15th chair of the Federal Reserve from 2014 to 2018. She is the first woman to hold either role. Uh, now, since uh, we, have this, we have a new president, she actually was not going to serve as uh, she did wasn't able to serve her next term which would have not made her the secretary treasury right now then put jerome powell in uh she was not appointed by the former president so now she has been appointed by the current president as the secretary of the treasury um let me go back to prior screen there we go enough of that i wanted to go over the details there just so you could see the actual law and that this is not a game it's real so what's scary to me is you have an individual that used to be in charge of the Fed and has had positions in the Fed banks. Actually, I believe she was the, wrote it down over here, she was the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco at one point um, until she got nominated by President Obama to be in charge of the Fed in 2014. She got kicked out by the former president and then she got put into the secretary of treasury position by the current president. Kind of a little sketchy to have somebody who used to run the Fed making these kind of decisions. And the because the Fed is supposed to be this separate entity that puts checks and balances on these other layers. And the same thing with the Treasury. They're supposed to be separated to separate the powers. You're not supposed to have the person who led one in charge of the other one and now working in, t in tandem with each other where I meant the coin deposit it to you even though I used to be in charge of you. You see where I'm going here? I haven't heard anybody talking about how this is a kind of a conflict of interest, but I'm going to go and put it on my channel because really, again, I, I have, I'm putting this stuff out there because I want it out there and I hope it's worthwhile to hit the like button, share it, subscribe to the channel. If you do that stuff, it helps me with this video. It helps me with this channel to put more and more content out and I'm just going to do my best to keep it real with you all and hopefully you do your own research in addition to what I, I literally showed you off of the exact U.S. Code 5112, uh, it's pretty wild. But I hope that this information, uh, you realize it's real and it's worthwhile to you. And I really appreciate you all being here. So, again, the, the scariest part of this is when you're the reserve currency of the world and everybody in this country, in the United States, trusts this currency that they're able to just do whatever they want. Now, this is supposedly to pay former debts, but it's it's so unbelievable that it's hard to, to think that they're just going to stop with one of these or two of these or three of these or I don't even know how many they can do. But the biggest, in my opinion, uh, the worst thing, rather, that you can do to a society is pay them or... Let me rephrase. The worst thing you can do for a society is have wages that are deflationary. And I've said this in the past, and you can quote me on this. Wages that are deflationary, which means flat or going down. So if you're making $4,000, you are making $5,000, $3,000 a month, whatever you're making per month, is staying the same or going down. And you're paid at the same time in a currency that is inflationary. So the currency is being diluted and inflated to be worth less while you're making less, that is a serious problem. And that's what I personally believe ha is happening in today's world. Um, I don't see any stopping this in sight because when there is a debt ceiling, they have fixed it 80 times over. They went from the original billion cap, 
Since then, they got rid of the gold standard and they've been printing and printing at will. And now it went from a billion to 28.5 trillion on the debt ceiling. And still they're arguing about it being too low because 28.5 trillion isn't enough on the debt ceiling, right? We got to just make sure it keeps. Who are these children? Who are these children? And you want us to pay this? You want the citizens to pay this? While these children bark at each other and they, they can't own the responsibility because if they, guess what? If they weren't able to get past this debt, debt ceiling, they'd have to shut down because there'd be no money to pay them. But here's the problem. The more money you give someone to spend, the more places they find to spend it. As soon as you limit the spending, all of a sudden, the power structures become more frugal with that money. And they don't want that kind of problem. They want to just throw money wherever they want. The people's money, they can just... Why would they ever want to have limitations on that and have to be more frugal with this money? It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. And, and the last thing I want to say is what... And I, I want to restate this. What do other countries think of us? You know, what do they... How do they feel? What is this kind of role model? If someone wants to be in, in politics and wants to try to help the United States get better and better. What kind of role models are you over there saying, we'll just get out of this situation. What kind of role model are you, Janet Yellen, Jerome Powell? What kind of role model are you? And, and what are you, what kind of examples are you setting for the people of today and the people for tomorrow? Do you care about this country? Or when you it got, you raised your hand and you said you were going to uphold uh, the constitution, did you just go through that? Like it was the Apple user agreement. Cause that's what I think you did. Because I remember I just got this new iPhone, just click user. Oh, yeah, 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 next thing. Yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, yeah, I'll pull the Constitution. Yeah. Because what I see is, is absolutely ridiculous. The founding fathers would be turning in their grave, and you should be ashamed of yourself, Janet Yellen. You should be ashamed of yourself. And I think the people, if you would be so kind to share this video and get it out there, I think they're going to find out for themselves, and they're going to be sick, just as sick as I am, just as sick as you probably are watching this video. Please do put in a comment down below how you feel about this situation. I hope I went over all the details. I don't usually have notes like this in front of me just so I can pull these down so you know that these exist. Uh, I never like to do that, but there's so much things to go through here because I didn't believe it the first time I saw it. Yeah, trillion dollar coin, that's just some make-believe headline. That's not real. No, no, it's real. It's actually real. And they can do this. Um, uh, let me t take a second here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, ch ch yeah, I'm pretty sure I got over everything. And if, you, if I missed out on anything in this, please do post a comment down below. Would love to hear your points of view. Absolutely crazy. Again, if you want to look up the code itself, it's US code 5112 section 31. And it goes over the details. I believe the actual sections that matter is section K of that code, which again, please look into it yourself. Please share this information, whether it's this video or just the information itself, please do share it because this is insanity. What do you think that you, this does for us? What do you think that this will do for the future of our currency? And do you support this? If you do, Throw a dislike and tell me why in, in the comment down below because I don't support it. I think it's absolutely wrong. I think it's, it is just making us a mockery. All right, enough of my rambling. Thank you so much for watching. See you at the next video. Signing out.